Brilliant. Thanks for that, Andy. So we're just going to jump straight into it, guys. Really, and talk about Endpoint Manager and the. I suppose the the first thing we're going to discuss is just a typical architecture um, that you have, uh, to some extent most of your environments will um, will probably replicate or will, will have some sort of sort of um, similarities with it. So on the screen there, what we've what we've got now is just a very basic sort of architecture of um, we've obviously got user devices and those user devices are going to be accessing um, obviously conditional using conditional access potentially, but the ultimate user device will be accessing Office 365 and associated products. And basically what I want to talk about is the sort of architectural considerations that we'll consider. And the, so basically what we've got on the screen there now is the user devices will be accessing Office 365. And we're going to touch on where configuration profiles, where compliance policies, um, fit into this architecture and how they sort of impact conditional access as well. So just briefly, configuration profiles from Microsoft Intune, what it ultimately allows us to do is to push settings to our um, to our end user devices, both mobile devices and laptops um, in a similar way that group policy would. But the crucial difference is we can do it off the network, off our corporate network, as what we mean by that. So not connect to VPN, not connect to the corporate network. Devices that are connected to the internet but are enrolled in our Intune environment, we can manage them in a similar way we can with the group policy and, and sort of dictate what settings they have on those devices. So that's configuration profiles in a nutshell. Compliance policies. Now, what compliance policies do is they actually evaluate devices, but again, anything that's off network falls into this category as well and it works. Um, so what, what compliance policies do effectively is they evaluate devices um, and they allow us to evaluate devices against specific criteria and deem them either compliant or not compliant. And this this criteria basically will be sort of typically security type settings. So we'll go into them in more detail at the, the sort of appropriate section. But this criteria basically can be then used in conditional access policies um, to control access to our tenants and our resources. So, for example, if we decide that a device without BitLocker doesn't is is not compliant. Um, once that device is deemed non-compliant, we can actually have a conditional access policy that says any devices that we deem non-compliant um, will either have reduced access to our tenant or they will have no access to the tenant. So that's sort of where compliance policies sort of hook into conditional access and why they're so useful because a key part of this really is that your, your sort of security from this side becomes self-policing um, rather than sort of you have to audit devices and make sure they meet the criteria. Um, and then decide what you want to do with those devices. The first thing is, if a device isn't meeting your security criteria, let's have it, let's stop it from actually accessing your resources. And that's something that you can do by sort of using compliance policies and conditional access in tandem. 